Hi everybody, this is Pam Arias. I'm a fashion and beauty influencer and I am so excited to show you my signature everyday natural makeup look. This is kind of like my go-to look, the look that I'm wearing all the time. It's super easy to recreate and now that we've been at home, I haven't been wearing makeup every single day. But when I do, it definitely makes me feel a little bit more productive. It makes me feel like I have a normal routine. It makes me feel like I'm going somewhere even though I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but it definitely helps my mood. So today I want to show you how to recreate that look. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little clips to get rid of my hair here. These are great because they don't leave a mark. So I already have my primer on my face. So I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade six, and I'm using this hourglass brush. So I'm just using like one or two pumps here. I like to apply it like this. And again, I'm not using a lot of foundation these days. Don't forget your neck. I feel like a lot of people forget their neck. You can mix this with your moisturizer um, for a very like natural look if you don't want a lot of coverage. Um, this was the first foundation that I used actually. I never used to wear foundation until I found this one. It doesn't break me out. It's great for sensitive skin. And this brush is just amazing. It really gives you a beautiful airbrush look. So now I'm gonna to move to concealer. So I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's one of those amazing concealers that you don't really need to use a lot because a little bit goes a long way. So let's do one, two, three. I like to, I like to apply it like that. And then here, I'm gonna use their blending brush. And this concealer, by the way, you can actually use this all over your face and just those areas that need a little bit of coverage. Like there's been a lot of times where I don't feel like wearing foundation and I just, you know, use my concealer to just cover those spots that need to be covered. Okay, so to set my concealer, I'm going to use a uh, translucent uh, powder, which is really great for setting things like concealer, or if you want to set your foundation too, you can also use it. But I personally like a little bit of a glowy finish, so I try to only put um, translucent powder wherever I need it. So I'm going to use a little bit of translucent powder, and I'm just going to set my concealer and I'm gonna put a little bit here in these areas that usually get oily. So next, I like to just put a little bit of powder on my face, um, a really shiny, like glowy powder. I'm into that glowy finish lately. So I'm using this palette and I'm just, just gonna use all of the colors here and I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Now, I'm going to do my brows. This is my favorite part. So I'm just going to brush them out first. If you have your brows done, this is it. Like this is all you need to look put together. I like to use this from Hourglass. It's a really great pencil, gives you a natural look. And the key is to just do um, a very natural brow you don't want anything super super thick or super super um marked this is another great powder but i don't know if i'm gonna use it today but i'm gonna use this mirror here so i can do it and you see how i'm just using like light strokes you don't want any harsh lines because it then then it doesn't look natural they're never gonna look exactly the same if you have perfectly shaped eyebrows god you're a lucky woman <laughs> or a lucky guy because i have this is this is my good brow i think i don't know okay so that's good uh now i'm actually going to use this pencil from anastasia beverly hills so i like to use this pencil as like um just to add a little bit of a highlight underneath my eyebrow the arc here 
and this is a good product to kind of like clean up everything if it looks a little um i'll just use my finger to blend Sometimes I even like to use this here to cover my little red spot that I have there. It's actually really good because it stays put better than concealer sometimes. Uh, you can also use this for this area here to open up your eyes a little bit. Okay, after that, I like to use one of these two products. So we have the Hourglass Brow Shaping Shaping Gel or the, I don't even know how to say this, but this is a new brand from a friend and I'm actually going to use that one because it has a little bit of a tint just to set my brows in place. So I'm just going to use this mirror to see everything up close. And you're just gonna lightly brush everything out it has a little bit of a tint i think the color is brow butter and it's in medium brown just like to brush my eyebrows so when i'm home i do like to wear a little bit of eyeshadow so i'm actually going to use my bronzer my chanel bronzer as a eyeshadow i'm really into the warm red tones and I feel like it's really um, just flattering for my skin tone and it makes it look really natural and then if you put a little bit on your cheeks it kind of looks like everything is super just it looks like you have a very natural makeup look and then I'm actually going to use some of that on my cheeks too so I use a little bit of that bronzer as my base and then I'm going to use um, another red warm tone this is from Victoria Beckham. The palette it's called Tweed. It's a really pretty palette. And I'm just gonna mix these two together for a little bit of color here. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is just to line, lightly line my eyes with a little bit of eyeliner, but I'm actually going to line my waterline. Um, this might look a little bit uncomfortable, but I swear it's easy. It's just a nice subtle way to line your eyes without making it look like you have a lot of eyeliner. And this one is from Tom Ford. And you can bring it out a little bit just to create kind of like a natural wing. And you can blend it out a little bit too. So next I'm going to, I never used to use an eyelash curler until I went to a photo shoot and they taught me how to use it. I thought I was going to lose all of my lashes, but I'm glad I learned how to use this because it really is life changing. So just be careful. And one, two, three, four, five. Now that I curl my lashes, I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using the new Gucci mascara. I really like this one. I also like um, the By Terry mascara, but today I'm just going to use the Gucci one since it's a new one. It's really good and I like that it separates your lashes. I don't know if you can see. Now, I don't know if you saw that I just put a little bit of mascara there. I'm going to teach you a trick on how to clean that without ruining your eyeshadow so good so instead of grabbing like you know something like a q-tip or something you're just gonna grab um the little brush from any of your eyebrow products and you're just gonna lightly clean that up and voila let the mascara sit for a few seconds uh, before you do anything and then you just brush it here. So then uh, let's just do lips now. So I'm going to use a new favorite. This is from Victoria Beckham. Number three is my favorite. I'm going to use this as my lipstick actually and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after. This color is so pretty. I'm into very natural tones like this, nothing too pink, more of like the natural mauve tones. Let me pat. So then I'm going to use 
a lip gloss on top of that. This one is from Hourglass and it's called, it's an Unreal Lip Gloss and the shade is Ignite. Just in the middle. You can leave it without the lip gloss. I just want to add a little bit extra, extra. Perfect. My liquid highlighter. This is the Tom Ford Glow Drops. I like to use this, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This product, you can mix this with your foundation. You can use it alone with your moisturizer. You can use it as a highlighter. I mean, as an eyeshadow too. I've used this so much, as you can see, it's almost done. <laughs> I'm just gonna use two drops here. And just, I like to blend with my fingers. I like to bring it up a little bit lower, actually, because I feel like when people are talking to you, if it gets all the way here, they can still see a little bit of that glow. Just make sure that you blend this and kind of like move your face so that you can see where it's hitting your face. So nice. I love this. It's a great product to bring if you are going on vacation and you want a really natural look once you're all tan. Hopefully we can do that soon. <laughs> okay, so for the last step, I'm just going to set everything with this setting spray from Hourglass too. Oof gonna fix my hair to show you how it looks like I'm actually gonna do a little bit of spray here why not last step okay so hair is ready makeup is ready I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial of my signature everyday natural makeup look I hope you guys can recreate it and I'm sending you lots of love. Please stay safe and healthy.